Hello everybody, Guiding Halo here. This is a reading for my Gemini friends for mid-September. Let's see what's coming in for you guys a couple weeks from now. What's Divine got on order for you? Money, finance, and career is the intention. Love may come up, but it's because it's impeding your ability to make money or it's taking money from you. It's affecting your financial situation in some way. Ten of Wands. Too much work, accept help from others, life that develops health-related concerns. So all of a sudden, I feel like you're under a timeline. Justice, you're trying to make a deadline of some sort, it feels like to me. Fair and just decisions, do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. Uh, I feel like you're going to be telling someone you told them so. Uh, communication around the water cooler, a celebration, wedding, graduation, a birth announcement. The need to have more fun and get out and enjoy yourself. Nonetheless, that's the need. Get out and enjoy yourself. Have more fun. So, too much work except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Something you've been tied to. A faith, a belief system, a something you learned that you've stood upon for quite some time is causing you some grief. Could be a marriage, could be a long-term boss commitment. There could be communication around the water cooler, gossip, whatever it is third party interference you're just wanting to give up at this point needing to ask help from others turning your back someone could be turning their back on everything they've stood upon faith wise having a complete change in belief set I see that you feel as though through some sort of commitment, possibly your ships are coming in or in leaving it behind. It's like the divine is offering you something you're saying no to. A sudden event occurs. It causes, there's, there's, there's reason for concern here on your part, but I, I feel as though here we go again with this. It's like, like there's a commitment Things are all going good. Your ships have come in. And then, nope, I don't want it anymore. I'm out. It's back and forth energy of what I'm tied to and what I'm not tied to. And it's causing stress. It's causing hurt. And it's causing whatever. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius and a Taurus or a Libra. But nonetheless, either way, it's, it's stressing you out. I feel as though you're a helper and you want to help people, but you can't help somebody who is destructive and to their own path, basically, is what you feel, maybe. A celebration, wedding, graduation, birth announcement. We have an opportunity coming here to take all you are that you putting all your emotion in this cup. You've decided to go ahead and cross this ocean of emotion and do what it takes to make things happen in your life. It's like taking a new you out there, moving forward. You're not the same old person that might have been manipulated. You're not the same old person that might have built yourself on a false foundation. Not no more you're not. And if someone comes back around with the same crap, I'm sorry, it's a hard no. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting. You're like really bossing up. So fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. There's a passionate opportunity coming your way. Maybe out of gloomy times. So maybe it's something you really need. Something you can sink your teeth into. Something you can really work on. It's like there's growth in this area already for you. There's growth on the wand. It's not something new you'd have to go and learn a whole bunch about. It's, there's something to do with justice and an awakening spiritually. An awakening financially, emotionally, and always here. It's a big deal. Whatever's going on here is a big deal. The question is, is this something you're going to celebrate? Possibly going to a wedding or a, something. The opportunity to go ahead and do that brings about some sort of celebration. Someone could be having a passionate opportunity to work for the government or uh, be a lawyer higher government perhaps something there and it's a beautiful opportunity that you're going to celebrate with your family or friends there could be a passionate opportunity coming to somebody from someone who you've known previously and while it could be a celebration i still feel as though yeah you feel like it's a little bit immature the divine's asking you to get creative about how you move forward in something creative ideas ingenious 
being struck by lightning with a brilliant new phase, whatever it is, it's just it's time for this new change to come about. I don't think that you're going to leave all of your spiritual beliefs that behind that you were raised with and all that sort of thing, but it's definitely incorporating it in a new way forward. A gift of money coming to you, uh, receiving a loan, maybe paying off some debts, able to make things work for the better. I feel like there's something about someone coming in. They could be asking for money or asking for a gift and you just don't have it. Blocking them, yeah, absolutely. Standing up for what you want, what you desire and what you've created, not letting anyone take from you anymore. I feel that this is good good news. If this is somebody else that you're teaching not to do this, it's very good news. But this very well could be you as well. Time and effort. Here again comes this message today of somebody using money to manipulate people into giving time and effort. But people that don't want the money then get shunned. I don't want your money, but they get shunned because it's like their time and efforts meant nothing. You've done nothing for me. When maybe someone has spent upwards of 18 months or even longer helping somebody. It's the weirdest thing I'm getting here. It's like a an exchange, a fair exchange of money and effort. But is it fair? Where's the balance in the giving and the taking? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Where's the balance? Crowning the reading. We have an end of a cycle. Graduation day. Not allowing it to happen no more. Walking away from anything that doesn't serve you because you want your happy. You want to be happy in this life. You want to feel joy. You want to feel contentment. Tell me about what the angelic advice is on the left hand side with this spiritual organization, like-minded friends, mentors. There's something that needs healing here. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So you can see it with compassion, for sure you can, and heal things. But somebody's got to step up. That's what I feel like. And I feel like that's what you're saying, that somebody's got to step up. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. That doesn't surprise me. I feel like you really feel like there's this get up and go energy right now. Some maybe you've been waiting to have the moment to get up and go, but now's the time, I feel. I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. Perhaps new marriage, new commitments, uh, new contracts being signed at work. Maybe the divine's marrying you with a new soul purpose for yourself. What's the energy the divine would like you to keep in mind this week? <coughs> Flexibility. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend. Don't break. Reconciliation. Remember, the source of love, a loving action, is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple first step. So are you going to be the person who reaches out or are you waiting for someone to reach out? That's a good question. Let's pull a postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, oh my, things are stirred up and changes upon you. This is cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with uncertainties of life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear, rather in spite of it, or even because of it. Step into the unknown now, let go of the branch you are clinging to, and let spirit take the wheel, and help steer you to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said. Take one step toward the gods and they will take ten toward you. We're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. I love you guys. Blessings to you.